Hi, I'm Laurie, and welcome to your one hour bar strong total body workout. What you're going to need today, a mat, you'll need a resistance band. This resistance band will be used for lower body. So go heavy, go light, you get to choose your resistance. And then you will also need a set of dumbbells, three to five pounds is my recommendation. Bar is high volume, a little rest time. So pick your weight accordingly. I will be using only three pounds today, which will feel very, very challenging to me. If I were to use five pounds, I could do a lot of the exercises with five pounds and beyond. But due to the a limited recovery in high volume. This will be the perfect fit for me, but just remember you and I are different. So find a weight selection that feels challenging, but manageable for you with really great form. And then lastly, I do recommend having a towel and hydration around as well. We will be moving to approximately 130 beats per minute throughout. Just know that what I, what you are listening to is different from what I am listening to. I dub, I do all the editing, so I'm, I'll be dubbing the music on top of it. So if it is a little off, that's my editing mistakes. So I apologize, but I'll line it up as best as I can. Today's format, slow, pulse, normal tempo. So every exercise that we do today will be for 90 seconds, but we're gonna divide it up. The first 45 seconds will be a slow controlled tempo. Typically a three count eccentric or lengthening phase is where we'll do that three count. And then one count on the concentric or shortening of the muscle. So 45 seconds with a slow controlled tempo and then 15 seconds, we go into pulsing. So very small controlled pulses. And then the final 30 seconds, we're typically just gonna rep it out normal tempo. So there will be a timer in one of the corners. There'll be upcoming demos in the corner as well. So just listen to my cues and let's have fun today. Now, like I mentioned previously, the recovery time is extremely minimal. We will be kind of going from one muscle group to the other, but at times it's gonna burn and we're gonna wanna, our brain's gonna be like, stop, stop, stop. We're gonna try to push past that discomfort, but if needed, feel free to rest. Rest pause as needed, that means just shake it out. Take a few deep breaths while I'm going and then rep it out whenever you feel ready to. You can also just hit that pause button on your screen and then meet me back when you're ready to go. Everyone is so different, so I just want you to have fun, do the best that you can. Y'all, let's grab all your stuff and let's get to work. We begin with this mini band. So go ahead, place that mini band above your knees and meet me in a side lying position. Our first exercise is a banded clamshell. Try to keep tension on the band throughout. So notice there's about six inches of space in between my legs. So try not to lose tension like that. And everyone's space will be different depending on the resistance band that you chose today. We're gonna take it up for a count of one and then take it down for three, two, one. So it's one, two, three and four. This begins your workout. We begin in three, two, and one. Let's go. It's up. Three, two, one. Up. Three, two, one. Next up, we have pulses in five, four, three, two, pull to the top, just pulse, 15 seconds. We switch it to normal tempo in three, two, one, normal tempo. Take it down and up, down, go up. Keep that space, keep the resistance on the band throughout. Take your hand to the upper outer portion of the glute. Glute medius is what we're focusing on. Squeeze. Next up, we have a bridge. We take it to the back. In three, two, one. Here we go. On the back, we take it up. Let's squeeze the glutes. Get the contraction in your glutes. Now we'll take it down for three, two, one. One, up four, three, two, one, up four. Drive into the band as we drive it up.
Hold at the top and pulse in three, two, one. Little small pulses up and out. So not only are you squeezing the glutes up, I want you to press into the band. Normal tempo in three, two, and one. It's straight up and down. Squeeze the glutes on the way up. Next up, we have clam shells on the other side. I'm just gonna flip it to the other side to, to make the transitions nice and smooth. We'll be facing away from each other. Maybe that's okay. Flip it to the other side. We know what to do. It's up, down, nice and slow. Here we go. Up, down, two, up, three, two, and one. Go up, lower, with control. Squeeze up, lower, with control. You got it. Hold at the top and pulse in three, two, one. Small controlled pulses. Squeeze, squeeze, you got this. Next up, normal tempo, straight up, straight down. We go in three, two, and one. Take it down, take it up. Down, squeeze up. Down, squeeze up, you got it. Next up, we have reverse crunches. We're bringing it to the back. And three, and two, last one. Bring it to the back. Keep tension on the band throughout. Back is pressing into the mat. You may wanna support the pelvis. Bring it in, squeeze the lower abs, feel the lower abs, and then three, two, one on the way down. Let's go, it's in, three, two, one. In, three, two, one. In, three, two, one. I want you to feel the lower abs. Really try to stabilize on the way down. Imagine the space in between the hip bones, so the ASIS joint. I want you to feel that corset get tighter. Here we go, pulse it out, just small controlled pulses. This time we're gonna switch to a two count up and a two count down in three, two, and one. Let's go. It's down for two, go up for two. Down for two, go up for two. Make sure that back, especially your low back, stays still throughout. If there's movement in that lumbar spine, you're gonna feel it in the back and we're trying to really isolate the front of the core, those abs. Take it to a side that faces me. We go to straight leg abductions next. This time, internally rotate the hip. So heel up, toes down. Now bring it up, and then we'll take it down with control. For three, two, one, up four. Three, two, one, up four. Three, two, one, up four. We are past the point of our warm up. We've just transitioned into it. We're gonna come to a modified side plank position as we pulse this leg in three, two. Now lift that bottom hip up and now we pulse. If needed, go back down to the ground. You're gonna feel it not only in this leg, but in this leg as well. The obliques, the core is helping to stabilize. Now hold this plank position. Legs go up and down, normal tempo.
We take it back to our reverse cl crunch, this time with a flare. Take it to the back. Let's go. Here we go. Press into the band. Now support the pelvis. Keep the pelvis still. It's in, out, abduct into the band, bring it back together, and then bring it in. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. It's in, long, out, and in. In, long, out, and in. Hold the abductions, just hold. Next up, just in and out. It's in, go out. In, go out. Now, if you find that this is, this is too quick, I want you to come off beat and slow it down. Next up, we have straight leg abductions on the other side. I'll be flipping away from you just only for a minute. Here we go. Take it to the other side. Side lying position to start out. Top leg, internally rotate that hip in. Heel up, toe down, and let's go up. Three, two, and one. Up, down, with control. Up, lower, with control. You got it. Just like a lose control, play songs on the radio too loud. This could be magical. This could be magical. We come to our modified side plank position. Lift bottom hip. Let's go. Lift that bottom hip. And now we pulse. Small controlled pulses. And this is where it's really going to start to burn. Stay with me, you got this. We switch to normal tempo with that top leg in. Three, two, and one. It's down, go up. Down, go up. Keep that bottom hip lifted, core is engaged, bottom obliques engaged. Now, if needed, support yourself with the top hand. We've been longing to escape and here we are. Driving narrow streets in a rusty car. We go back to our core exercise next, so we'll bring it to the back. It's a hip lift in three, two, and one. So legs are straight. I want you to take it up, use the lower abdominals, and then we go down three, two, one, and then we'll go up, three, two, and one. Up, three, two, and one. Up. Three, two, and one. Use the lower abdominals. Stamp the feet to the sky. Next up, we have pulses. So we just hold the pulse, feet to the sky, hip lift portion. Let's go. It's up. Up, abs bringing you up. Two down, two up. Let's go down for two, up for two. We can always stay a little longer. We don't have a plan Just let me live a little younger Than I really am Next up we have donkey kicks, quadruple position Let's get there first You can do whatever leg you want to to start I'll be doing my right leg Support the band underneath the left knee We'll take it up at a 45 degree angle Then down So it's one, two, three, and four One, two, three and four you can do this on the hands or you can come down to the forearms totally 
up to you. Keep the front of the core tight. Core stays tight throughout to help stabilize. We hold and pulse in three, two, one, small pulses. Normal tempo, straight up, straight down. It's burning, come on, stay with me. Bear planks are next, we'll adjust the band to above the knee in three, two, ah, and one. Nice work, let's adjust the band, roll out the wrist if needed. Bear planks are next. So big deep inhale down and around on the exhale. Engage the front of the abs, lift the knees off. From here we go. Left leg out, right leg out, left leg in, right leg in. Then right, left, right, left. So what's out, out, in, in. And we're switching sides every single time. Hold this bare plate position in three, and two, and one, hold it in, just out, just out. Come to the forearms in three, two, and one. Take it to the forearms. Now we take it back to a full plank and we go left, right, left, right. Next time go right, left, right, left. You got it. I know it's burning those shoulders. Hello, shoulders, nice to see ya. Next up, we have donkey kicks on the other side. And three, two, one, take it down. Adjust your band, anchor it to underneath whatever, whatever leg is not working. I'm gonna stay on my hands. Now we take it to that 45 degree angle, then bring it back down nice and slow. It's up, three, two, one, up, three, two, one, up, three, two, squeeze the glute on the way up. Keep that spine as still as possible. Again, if you're keeping your core tight, there should be minimal movement in the spine. If it looks like this, just pay attention, keep this tight. We don't wanna feel it in the low back, we wanna feel it in those glutes. Hold at the top in three, two, just pulse. Normal tempo in three, two, and one. It's down, go up. If this is uncomfortable on your wrist, go down to the forearms. I totally get it. I know it's burning, fight through it. Superman's are next, we come to the belly. In three, two, and one, adjust the band. Band is above the knees. Now come to the belly. I'm gonna remove my mic. Hands go out, press into the band as we lift. So really squeeze into it, then lower. Three, two, and one. It's up, lower with control. We hold at the top and we'll go for a swim. And three, two, and one, hold at the top. Kick left and right, opposite arm, opposite hand. Hold here. Now 
Next up, we have normal tempo for 30 seconds, y'all. Then we get a small recovery. Let's go down and up. Last three, two, hold at the top, 15 seconds, 15 seconds. Then we're gonna take off this band and we'll get 75 seconds to recover before we transition it into our dumbbell exercises. Hold and squeeze. Last three, two, and one release. Nice work. Roll over onto the back, remove your band first. Place it off to the side. We do not need it currently. Roll back onto the stomach. Let's get a nice little stretch in the abs. When you're ready, come down to the hands. Let's extend. Go right and left. Both hips square, big deep inhale on the exhale. Curl the toes under, shoot the hips up and back. Downward facing dog, pedal out right and left. Both heels reach towards the ground. Look up at the hands. Walk the feet in. Grab opposite elbow, opposite hand for a little ragdoll pose. Bring all swing to a stop. Big, deep inhale, flat back. Exhale, deeper stretch. Root to rise. Big, deep inhale up. And exhale, grab your dumbbells. We have 15 seconds before we begin. With Lou raises. If I can fix that. <laughs> Lou raises in first position. All right, heels in, toes out. Grab your dumbbells. Lou raises our next slow and controlled tempo, terribly slow, four and four. So it's up, two, three, four, down. Two, three, four. Go up, two, three, four, down. Two, three, you got it. We control the weight. The weight does not control us. Hold the legs, bring the dumbbells halfway up. Now pulse. Normal tempo, two count up and down, bring it to the top. Down for two, up for two. Last rep, pull the dumbbells up, tricep extensions are next. Get the triceps down first, down for two, up for two, toes face forward, down for two, up for two, side squat, down for two, up for two, and press, other side, down for two, up for two, other side, down for two, up for two, other side, core stays tight to help with balance. Last rep, I want you to hold the legs. Here we go, just pulse, pulse. Upper body and lower body together. Normal tempo is next at the squat. It's down, go up, down, bring it up.
bring the dumbbells in front of you in three, two, one. Dumbbells in front, toes face forward, shoulder press. It's up, down with control. Up, three, two, and one. Drive up, three, two, one. Up, three, two, one. Up, three, two, control it. Up, three, two, you got it. Hold low and pulse in three, two, just pulse. Upper body and lower body. We should be feeling this in the front of the shoulders. It's burning, I know. Normal tippos next. Hit in three, two, one, let's go, go down. Bring it up, down, bring it up. Lateral raises next. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Let's shake it out. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take it slow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You got it. Next up, we just hold the bicep curls. In three, two, one, just curl, go up and down. Normal tempo poliquin lateral raises are next. It's up, out, down, and lower. Up, out, down, and lower. Biceps, delts, more belts. Four way raises next. Let's go we'll at the squat. It's down, up, together, in, and lower. Keep those shoulders down and away from the ears as you bring it up. The tendency is to want to get those upper traps really to do a lot of the works with a lot of the works, the work. And we use that muscle a lot, typically, just due to our forward facing society, kind of rounding forward throughout the day. So keep those shoulders down and really try to work the outer portion of your delts. Here we go. Hold the squat. Just up. Just up. We reverse the four-way raise. It's up, out, and lower. Next up, a bus driver to two front raises. Hold it together. It's left, center, right, center, down, go up, down, go up and hold, go left, go right, or your left and right, <laughs> down, go up, down, go up. You got it one way, then the other, straight down and up for two. friend. 
seconds. Pull the bus driver, 15 seconds. At the pulse with the legs. Front raise, let's go. Here we go, last three, two and one. Quarter turn away from me. My dumbbells will be in the right, front foot forward, left. We'll take it down and up. Now let's do that tempo. Down, two, three, go up. It's three, two, one, up. Four, three, two, one, at the press. Hold the pulse, upper body, and lower. If needed, you can always set one of those dumbbells down. Just remember where you did on this side because we will be matching on the other. Normal tempo in three, two, and one. It's down, go up. Turn to me. Lateral lunges next. It's up, down, <laughs> down, go up, down, bring it up, slow it down now. Up, three, two, and one. Up, three, two, and one. Hold the leg, hold the arm, now we pulse. Normal tempo. Let's go. It's down, pull up. In about five seconds, we're quarter turn back to this working leg. And three, two, one, quarter turn. It's down really slow and then curl it up. Three, two, one, up four. Three, two, one, up four. Try to use that back leg as little as possible. So I really want you to connect, squeeze the glute in the quad. Hold the bicep and pulse the leg. Right now, 15 seconds. Normal tempo. Let's go. It's down, curl up.
here we go. Hinge forward, Pilates style lunge. Now we're going to take it three, two, one, row four. Three, two, one, row four. That leg is on fire, come on, stay with me. We'll hold the leg and pulse that back. So hold the leg, just pulse. Squeeze that upper back. I know it's burning, fight through it. Three seconds, normal tempo. Let's go, down, go up. Next exercise, ditch these dumbbells just for one exercise. Put it down, standing leg stays in front. I know it's on fire. It's in for two, out for two. In for two, out for two. Let's pick it up. In, go out. In, go out. Get those lower abs to fire up. Pulse at the top, let's go, just in. That space in between your hip bones, connect to it. I know that standing leg is on fire. Exhale, connect more. Normal tempo, 30 seconds. Repeaters, let's go. Repeat the same circuit that we just did on the other side. So whatever side you didn't do, now we're gonna do it. Grab your dumbbells. I'm gonna do my right leg will be in front. The left hands have the dumbbell. We'll take it back, then drive it up. Let's get that down first. Three, two, one, up four. Three, two, add the shoulder press. Hold and pulse, 15 seconds. Normal tempo, let's go, 30 seconds. In 10 seconds, we're gonna quarter turn possibly away from each other. I'll be looking away from you. Just quarter turn to open up into that lateral lunge. Here we go. This leg bends, pull it up so we do that upright row. And then we go down with control. Let's go, it's up. Three, two, one, go up. Three, two, one, drive it up. Three, two, one. Drive it up, three, two, you got it.
hold the leg, hold the arm up. Now we pulse the leg. Arm is just saying that delta is being contracted and that leg is on fire. Small controlled pulses, your quad, your inner thigh, your glute, your hamstring, everything's on fire. Here we go, normal tempo. Down, go up. Down, drive it up. Our next exercise, a well, quarter turn back towards that working leg for our reverse lunge with a bicep curl. Wow, quarter turn back. And then we take it in and then down. Up, three, two, one. Go up, three, two, one. Up, three, two, one. Hold the pulse in three and two and one, just pulse. Normal tempo down and up, let's go. Body style lunges next. We'll add the row. First, hold it low. Now hinge that forward. Wow, that's gonna target your glute and hamstring a little bit more. Go ahead, row it up, squeeze that upper back. Now we'll take it down for three, two, one, up four. Three, two, one, up four. Hold that pulse in three, two, hold the upper body, just pulse. Normal tempo in three, two, and one. Let's go, down, go up. Repeaters are next. We'll set those dumbbells down momentarily. And three, two, one. Dumbbells down. Standing leg stays in front. I know it's on fire. Let's get it down. Slow to start. Wow. Release it long. Connect to the lower abs. Pick it up a little. Hold the pulse in three, two, one, just pulse. Normal tempo, let's go.
Come on, 10 more seconds. And then we're gonna work the leg that hasn't been working. We'll grab those dumbbells in three, two, and one. Ha <laughs> ha, shake it out, grab your dumbbells. Here we go, 80% of the weight in the left, 20 in the right. If you haven't been working your left in a while, switch sides if, if that's not the case. And we're gonna take it down for three, two, one, up four, three, two, one, up four. Hips go back, hips go up. So this is all in the hips. So think about the door, a door hinge, opening and closing. If you have a lot of movement in your back like this, you're gonna feel it in your back. And we're trying to target the glutes and the glutes are most lengthened here, then up. So just really try to feel that left glute contract. And sometimes contracting both will help. We're gonna stay with this tempo before we speed it up a little. Three, two, one, up four. Three, two, one, up four. We switch to two and two. So go up for two, down for two. Up for two, down for two. I want you to keep the front of the core super tight. That'll help stabilize the spine and keep those lats locked and loaded as well. Focus your gaze a couple feet in front of you and then don't lose it. Next up, we have a single leg deadlift. So take both dumbbells into the right hand if your left leg is stabilizing. And we're gonna take it down for three, two, one, four, count down, and then a four count up. So just super slow, don't worry about the beat. It's four, three, two, and one. Take it up for four, three, two, and one. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it up for four, three, two, one. If needed, you can tap. If this is not doable, try it with body weight first. And then if that's still not doable, I want you to support yourself with this offhand. We're just gonna hold here for 15 seconds. Hold here, stabilize. Make sure that hip is down and it's not opening up. Bring it down. Ha! Ah, it's burning. Stay with me. Here we go. Two count up and down. It's up for two. It's down for two. Up for two. And down for two. Take your time here. If you want to go slower, go slower. B stance on the other side in three, two, and one. Switch the weights to the left. 80% of the weight in the right foot, 20 in the left. Here we go, hip goes back for three, and then up and squeeze. Everything else stays still. So it's three, two, one, up four. Three, two, one, squeeze that right glute. Three, two, one, squeeze both glutes if you want. We're biasing the right a little bit more. Fifteen more seconds. Two count up and down. So it's up for two, down for two, up for two, down for two. Single leg deadlift is next. Let's regroup at the top. Core stays tight. Find something to stare at and then don't lose that gaze. Here we go. We're going to take it down for a four count. And then up for a four count. Slow and controlled. This leg's a little bit more wobbly for me and that's normal to have one side 
that feels a little stronger than the other. We're going to work on balancing it out. So just remember, if this is your weaker side, what did we do on the other? We kept the front of the core engaged. You can always drop the version. You can go back to the B stance if needed. You can ditch the weight. You can stabilize with this off hand. It is up to you. This is your workout. Make it your own. You got this. We hold in three, two, hold here. Make sure that hip is level to the ground. It's not about how high we're kicking that leg. Keep it stable. Connect to the front. Wow, everything is on fire. Two count up and down. Let's go. Bilateral RDL is next. That means equal weight in both feet. Three count up and down. So ground through both feet, rip the mat apart. Now we go three, two, one, up, four, and squeeze. Three, two, up for four, three, two, one, up for four. I find that if you keep tension from the bottom up, so act like you're ripping the mat apart, that'll help fire up the glutes. We switch to normal tempo for our pulses. In three, two, one. It's down, go up, down, go up. We're not leading with the dumbbells. We're not leading with the back. The hips, set these dumbbells right here. The hips are making the movement. We're staying with this normal tempo. Almost done with lower body, y'all. Less than two minutes. And then we hit some abs to finish, y'all. We are at that finish line. Stay with me. Meet me in a sumo squat, heels and toes out. It's three, two, one, up four, but I don't want you to lock out at the top. So we're only performing the bottom three quarter range of motion. So no lockout, constant tension. And four, three, two, one, up four, three, two, one, up four, three, two, drive through those heels. We hold at the bottom and three, two, heels up and down. Hold the heels up. It's down, go up, down, go up. Bottom half range of motion only. Ten more seconds and we hold. Then lower body is done. And we get a small, tiny, tiny break. Here we go, hold low in three, two, one, 15 seconds, hold it. Last five, four, three, two, release those weights. Wow, big deep inhale. On the exhale, come out of it, grab a drink of water, do what you need to do. Meet me on the mat, on your back for our final core blast. We're going to end with six and a half minutes of work for our final body weight only core blast. We begin with a combo movement. We'll take this as our only 90 second exercise and then we'll shorten it up from there on. So we have bicycles. So it's three, two, one and hold, then up for two. Next time we'll switch sides. So it's an eight count. We go in three and two, 
and one. Let's go. It's three, two, hold here. Bring it up for two and switch. It's three, two, hold for four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, hold, five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, hold for four, five, six, seven. I count weird. I know. I know. Just bear with me. We're almost done. Next up, we have up and overs. Make yourself into the shape of an X. Here we go. Reach opposite leg, opposite arm, and then bring it down. Now you can also take the hand behind the head to help support, because we don't want to be lifting from the neck. I want you to think about lifting from the core. So whatever position you have with the chin, you can hold it in. You can also just look up the entire time. I want you to hold that position throughout. So minimal movement in the neck. This is not a neck crunch. This is a core exercise. So we are still trying to keep the back as still as possible right now. Keep the excessive movement in the lumbar spine to a min minimum. So if you find that you're feeling it in your low back, there's probably some movement going on. Just bring awareness to it and then try to address it. Next up, we have, wow, sprinter sit-ups. We'll take this slow and controlled. So bring it all the way up. We twist and then we take it down for three, two, and one. Bring it all the way up, other side, add that twist. Take it down for three, two, one. Feel the burn, go up, hold, and twist. Now take it down for three, two, one, other side. Bicycles, let's go normal tempo with these bicycles. Don't just touch here, all right? I want you to twist from the thoracic spine. So really think about twisting. It's okay if we don't touch. We probably won't if we are twisting. If you're not twisting, you're just kind of touching and crunching. That's fine too, that's not wrong. This little twist though, will target a little bit more of the obliques. Next up, we have a double crunch. We add upper and lower in three, two, and one. Start with the knees bent. It's in and out. Take the slow and controlled. Make sure you're pressing the low back into the mat, especially right here. It'll want to come up. Press it. If needed, you can come here and then here. Just pay attention to it. Then to advance, we're going to take it in and out. In and out.
we're ending with flutter kicks. 45 seconds only in three, two, and one. Let's support our pelvis with our hands. Make sure that back is pressing into the low back. The low back is pressing into the mat. Wow. And then just flutter up and down. Rest pause as needed. This one is tough. Fifteen seconds, and then we have a hold, y'all, and then we are done. Fifteen second hold in three, two. Fight through this burn. I'm right there with you, y'all. This is tough, but does it challenge us? Won't change us. Hold, 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 hold. Ten. Last five, four, three, two, and one really virtual high five nice work oh my goodness let's roll over onto one side oh let's get our abs again because we need it we need it heart reaches forward big deep inhale exhale let it go come down and then bring it back up the workout was right around an hour approximate but pretty darn close hopefully with my editing should be pretty darn close to an hour. So this a little stretch at the very end, just a little extra. Always advised to do a little something. If I say, you know, you can do it later in the day, we typically don't, but I do have extra stretching videos. Just go left and right at your own pace. I do have uh, additional stretching videos below, very focused, short stretching videos. So I'll link them, one for the hips, one for the low back, one for like neck and shoulders upper, mid to upper back. And then I have like a lower and an upper. I'll list them all. Hold center, big deep inhale. Ah. On the exhale, walk it in. Let's hit those hip flexes. So keep a neutral low back here, bring it forward. And then take the opposing arm. So this is my right leg, left arm is reaching up and over. That's going to intensify the stretch along the front of the hip flexor. Oh, and it feels amazing. Big deep inhale on the exhale, bring it on back, bring it on back. Now we're gonna shift the focus into your hamstring, into the glute, a little bit into the calf as well. Bring it on up and let's switch sides. Neutral low back and then take it up and over. One more big deep inhale. On the exhale, straighten the front leg, dorsiflex at the ankle, hinge it, feel it, release it. Nice work, bring it back to your tabletop position. Keep the hips stacked over the knees, bring it to a puppy pose, but I want you to do unilaterally. So I want you to shift the weight into one side, really targeting, oh my goodness lat muscle on the side that you're twisting towards. So for me, this is my left. Just a little, a little shift with the F and twist. You can really change up how you feel it. And then let's hit the other side. Oh, feels amazing. And we worked those shoulders a lot, a lot, a lot. So we're gonna show them some love as well. Remove my mic pack, bring it on down. I'll show you um, one version first. Pretty intense shoulder opener, so go very slowly into this. Use one foot as a kickstand and just open it up. Now, if you're not feeling much here, and you may, well, probably, you will probably have one side that is tighter than the other, that's very normal. But if you're not feeling much here, what I want you to do, come out of it, bend at the elbow, <laughs> and then do it again, and it's humbling. Mm -hmm. You can also do this on a wall. Um, love doing it on a wall throughout the day to really just open it up, especially if you ever find yourself rounding forward. So if you have a desk job, if you are in the car a lot, like me, uh, my side gig is a chauffeur and I do it for free for my kids because they don't have jobs. They're only five and seven, <laughs> but I am a part-time chauffeur. So I'm in the car a lot. So 
I try to give myself cues, let's do the other side to keep that good posture, you know, not to round forward, but it's happens. Our body really wants to fall into those habits. Our body is trying to constantly save energy throughout the day and it'll find ways. So this stretch will really help counteract any sort of rounding that you have happening in the shoulders. And again, for me, the interesting thing is my left side, a more right side dominant, but my left side is way more tight. I find myself, you know, I'm, I'm moving my right throughout the day, I guess keeping that in good posture and alignment, and my left is rounding forward. Love that for me. Just a little, little FYI, a little TMI too. All right, let's come on out of it, and let's go to our backs and hit a glute stretch. One of my favorite ones to do when I don't feel like standing up is that figure four. So make the shape of a four with the legs. Take your elbow, gently press against the inner thigh and then pull the knee in. So on the inhale, gently press against the inner thigh to open it up. Exhale, draw the knee in. You can point, you can dorsiflex, play around with it. I prefer to kind of keeping it flexed right here. I feel a little bit more, but whatever, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> does that show my age? All right, let's take it to the other side. I'm sure it does. And then I'm gonna get you guys on out of here. Don't worry. Ladies and gents, we're gonna be on our way. Go ahead, hug the knees in. Let's take a few rolls up because it feels so good. And let's do one more. I don't know why I'm talking like that. <laughs> but, all right, as long as you tried your best, that is what matters the most. Thank you so much for working out with me today. Let me know what you would like to see in the comments below. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. All the things your love and support means the absolute world to me. Tag me in your posts and stories on IG. I love to see it. Literally makes my day. Makes it. Maybe my whole week. At Laurie Midkiff, all right? So tag me in your posts and stories. And most importantly, y'all, have an amazing rest of the day. You rock.